Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing Tuscany here in Yopan of Alice 4. We are at war with Burgundy and Aragon. I mean, it, it looks like a big war, but it's not really. I mean, France is doing all the work, the heavy lifting, shall we say. And he, look at this. He's not even bothering to invade Aragon. He's daring them to invade him. He's, like, standing on the border, like, Hey, you guys, you want to come party? And they're like, No, please don't squish me. So we're just going to stay back and do nothing. We can't really deal with Aragon's navy. I mean, every single ship you see here is Aragonese. That's uh, 33 ships, and uh, we have a whopping 5. So we can't really deal with... Yeah, there's 26 over there. We can't really deal with Aragonese fleet. So we're just going to ignore it and uh, suffer through the war. We are going to suffer through this war. Damn it. We can sort of invest in this guy, but not quite. Uh... Maybe we'll just save up and go for the younger guy. Because we really can't compete with this. There's Castile, Austria, the Hansa, Aragon, Lithuania, Hungary, Ulm, Trier, Poland, Würzburg, Cologne, Hesse, Foix, Riga, Holstein, and Norway, and a bunch of others who are all in the running for the same guy. So let's probably, let's just kind of back off on that guy. It's a little too much competition there. Okay, let's go. We're annexing our vassal, Ferrara. England has declared war on Scotland. Oh, that's cute. And, uh, yeah, Scotland has no allies, so that should be an easy war, easy war for England. Conquest of Asia. Yeah, Scotland has no allies. So what are you going to do, Scotland? Nothing? Nothing? Not, he's not going to do a damn thing. Okay. Cities demand old rights. Lose stability or lose Republican tradition. Oh, come on, game. How much does stability cost me? I oh, will just lose the stability. God damn it. Just lose stability. You're a monster, game. You're a monster. I mean, I, I need Republican tradition, because every time we get an election, I'm going to stick with the current guy. Just give, just give us all the wonderful stats. Which means I can't lose tradition outside of um, the election. There we go. The war is... Oh, not over. Oh, another, another uh, reform has gone through. Oh, the first reform. The very first reform has gone through. Burgundy will cede French Comte to Austria. Burgundy will release Holland as a sovereign state. Oh, okay. Holland exists. Good good job, Holland. You exist. He doesn't have any claims or anything. But he should be able to form the Netherlands at some point. Maybe? He should be able to. Go on. Form the Netherlands. Go on. You can do it. Go on, then. He's not doing it. I think he has to conquer some more land. Austria broke their alliance with the Platinum. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. How's our coalition looking these days? Uh, yeah, it's pretty robust. Do we have any truces these days? Uh, no, no truces. All right. So, yeah. If the coalition triggers, we're... Well, we're not really that much fucked, are we? No, not really. Austria, do you want our alliance back? No. We have a marriage, but he's not interested in an alliance. I'm not sure why. I mean, he's neutral. He needs to stop being neutral. How about you stop being neutral? And how about you stop being militarist? Jesus Christ. You're the HRE Emperor. Castile broke their alliance with Austria. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Ooh, Castile has us rivaled. Yeah. What the... He had me rivaled, and now he's outraged, and now he's actively improving relations with me? Okay, oh, okay, he's dropped He's dropped the rivalry. It's gone. Okay, so he's unrivaled me. Fair enough. We currently have Aragon, Venice, and Burgundy. You have Burgundy. You have... Oh, none of those. Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to put one of these guys in here. Do we really need Aragon in here? Probably not. Um, I mean, well, that does help us with Naples. Hmm. Do we need Venice in here? Yeah, that does help us with Milan. Shit, I wish these guys had similar rivals so that we could kind of double up and not have to, you know, individually package our rivals. But I think Naples, we're just going to let them do whatever the fuck Naples does. So let's ignore Naples for a bit here. Let's um, take Aragon out. And put in uh, Bohemia. Let's put Bohemia in there. There you go. So we can try to get back in Austria's pocket. I really want Austria to love me. Oh, and Savoy lost his alliances with Hungary and Naples. Okay, so Naples now allied 
Only with Castile and Milan. All right. That's fine, I guess. Now, we've topped off relations with Austria. We are going to get enemy of enemy bonus. I don't really want to give him a gift. That's probably going to be way too expensive. He already has access, yeah. Austria broke their alliance with Mainz. All right, so he is actively getting rid of alliances. Castile and Mainz are gone. So that should mean he'll take an alliance soon-ish. I guess. But in the meantime, while we're waiting, why don't we go top off relations with uh, Francie Pants? Yeah, go top off Francie Pants. There you go. You can always tell when a nation's going to attack another nation. Oh god, Austria's allied to Hungary now. You can always tell when a nation's going to attack another nation. Step one, he broke his alliance with Mainz. Austria did. Step two, he sent a warning to Mainz. I would not be surprised if he would guarantee Mainz as the next step, just to just to make sure no one else uh, fiddles with him. Did you get a claim on him? No, he doesn't have a claim on him right now. Come on, Austria. Go friendly. Go friendly and we can do this. You and me, bro. That neutral attitude is fucking with me. Oh, poor Hungary. Our ducats. Our ducats are not happy. I guess I could lower the funding temporarily. There you go. So we don't lose so many ducats. We'll put it back up as soon as the war's over. Yeah, that's when you want to lower funding, is in the middle of a war, right? Yeah, perfect time. Yeah, let's go top off the Pope. We should be able to start annexing the Pope sooner or sooner or later, whatever. Come on, Austria. We can be friends, you and I. Oh, we didn't get a cardinal. Austria got the cardinal. Okay. Well, we do have one. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice cheap guy, and he's young too. Yeah, let's go steal. Oh, we can't even steal him. Well, we'll start pumping points into him, and then as soon as we have the opportunity, we'll go steal him. Come on, France. You can peace out of the war now. Any day. I mean, it really is easy for France just to steamroll now. I'm surprised he's not carpet sieging at this point. There's no real enemy. But he's taking his time. Hungary will cede Varasad and Somogi to Bosnia. Hungary will cede Maros to Wallachia. Okay. Renounce their claims, pay 18 ducats. Okay, so yeah, three more provinces gone. Poor Hungary. As Serbia and Byzantium continue to invade. Kind of weird seeing Wallachia expand. Basically... <laughs> All of the all of the Balkan states are growing at the expense of Hungary. They're they're ignoring the Ottomans and they're going north. And we can invest in this guy. Yay! Steal de Baufer Baufremont. Steal him, for he is sexy, and we wish to have him in our pockets. Still not friendly, huh? We have enemy of enemy. We have maxed improved relations. Come on, man. Fought to the end. We lost a claim on Nice. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. We're not fighting Savoy anyway. Come on, Austria. You and me, we can be friends. Friends. Friends forever. No? Well, maybe France will peace out soon. I like that Castile has unrivaled us. That's kind of nice. We'll have to get relations back up with Aragon and Castile. Or at least Castile. I guess I don't really care about relations with Aragon. <laughs> Considering they have lands that I eventually want to conquer.
Oh, Burgundy. Don't you wish you weren't at war with France right now, Burgundy? I bet you do. But you are at war with France. How's that working out for you? Unhappiness among the artisans. Lose more stability or lose ducats that I don't have. I don't have the ducats. I ain't got it. Oh, and look at this. Mantua actually has enough points to get two Cardinal Elects at the same time. That bastard. I can't even compete with that right now. I gotta wait. Stupid Mantua. Who do you think you are? You with your shiny allies, Savoy and Venice? You and your coalition? Your negative 200 opinion of me? Moi? Supports dissidents. I apparently had a had an event to piss off Mantua, and I took it. I ran with it. I saw my opportunity to piss off Mantua, and we did it. Hungary will see Bekis and Hunya to Serbia. All right, so Hungary lost five provinces in that in, the, in those two wars. He's down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven provinces left. Not looking good for old Hungary. And uh, Naples looks like they're going to lose Ragusa here. Yeah. Poor Naples. You declared war on Serbia and you never sent a single soldier over there. Very effective way to fight a war. <laughs> Sweden will see... Oh my god. Look at Denmark go. Look at that. He's like, well, I, I couldn't keep my union. You guys are just unruly. So I'm just going to eat y'all. And he is. He is eating. And he's almost done annexing Norway. So yeah, Super Denmark is go. Even a very non-traditional Super Denmark is go. Come on, Austria. We can be friends. Friends, you know? Scotland will cede... Pretty much half their country to England. Good job, England. You showed him who's boss. Scotland shouldn't have resisted, right? It was his fault. Oh, we can bulb something. Do we want to bulb this right now, or should we go for more tech? Are we ahead or behind, or what? We're four years ahead. Mm, I think I'll hold on to the points. We don't need the uh, idea just yet. You know, we got cheaper mercs coming up. Uh, more less interest nah, nah. we'll just hold on to the idea points we'll go for some tech you know me I love my tech and besides we gotta burn off all this uh, aggressive expansion anyway get rid of this coalition so we don't really need to worry about like being aggressive right now Burgundy will cede Artois, Rethel, Nevers, and Vlanderen. Holy shit. And he's going to move his capital, too. His capital has been completely isolated. So he'll move it up here somewhere. Probably uh, Antwerp. All right. Good job, France. Aren't you happy that I helped you in that war? Quote, unquote, helped you in that war? All right. Come on back from uh, the land of the Pope. Let's start annexing that, that poor man. Poor Pope. You used to be somebody. All right, and we can send our trade ships back out to do trade. How goes the Genoa node anyway? Well, that's not great. We're getting a whole 1.7 ducats on the Genoa node. We can do better than that. France is still happy. Yeah, I'm... Oh, that's right, Lithuania has the Union over Poland. I, I keep forgetting. Every time I load up this game, I'm like, Lithuania has the Union under Poland, right? Over Poland? I'm like, what? Yeah. And Holland, of course. Uh, in in absolute normal European Universalis fashion. As a nation that doesn't exist at the beginning of the game, Holland I is very properly not getting any relations with anyone anywhere. No marriages, no alliances, no military access. 
no hope of surviving. He's just gonna get fucking ass raped. Why? I don't know. The, the AI is just programmed to not do anything at all if they're spawned as a new nation. If they're one of the nations that existed at the beginning of the game and you make them, like, be released from some other country, then they'll actually do stuff. But normally nations that spawn and didn't exist previously have, like, no programming at all, so they just don't do anything. It's weird. France has warned Provence, which means, well, it's going to be a war with Provence coming up. I should probably get a fabricated claim or something. Oh, I can't. I can't. Yeah. I just can't. I could fabricate on uh, Genoa and Sardinia. I could fabricate all over Naples, I think. Actually, no, I can't, huh? Not until I annex the Pope. As soon as I annex the Pope, I can fabricate all over Naples, but not until then, not before then. I wonder if the Iberian wedding's gonna happen. Carlos and Farron. Now they're both boys. The Iberian gay wedding. Are we still ahead of time? We are three years ahead of time. Well, we're not gonna do it three years ahead of time. That's for damn sure. Come on, Austria. We can be bros. Damn it, Austria. But yeah, we've been at peace for a while here, so hopefully some of this coalition will burn off. It should. Unlawful territory is gone. That means Austria should have less penalties against us. We can start building some more trade ships, but I was thinking of waiting until Tech 9, because we'll get some better ships at Tech 9. Yeah, we'll just wait until Tech 9 for the better ships. Better trade ships. In the meantime, save up some... Okay, welcome back everybody. It looks like Steam is working again, I think. Let's continue. 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 Ooh. Uh, Yemen and Hedges. One of them annexed the other. I guess Hedges annexed Yemen, yeah. Okay, good job Hedges. Congratulations. I wonder how well you can fight against Oman, because I'm sure Oman is a force down there. And yeah, the Ottomans did finally take Karaman. They finally conquered Karaman, but... um. The Mamluks got Dulkader, which is hilarious. And you know, the Ottomans, I don't know what they're doing. They're just sitting on their hands. They have cores all over Byzantium, all over all this shit, and they're just, I don't know. It's been 32 years, and they've just barely tickled the surface of all these cores that they have. They're really weird. Anyway, forward. Oh, I was checking our mission, wasn't I? I was checking our mission. Accumulate money. I have to save up uh, 106 ducats. I can do that. Yeah, so just don't spend anything for several years. No problem. Problem? No problem. We're gonna get three units from Ferrara. That's, oh god, how many fucking stability drops am I gonna get this, this fucking episode? Are you kidding me? Well, I have the money this time. This is the, this, the second scandal at the court and the third stability drop thing to happen in the past. It just happened this one episode. It's crazy. There goes all my money. It's better than a stability drop, though. My god. So yeah, the Ottomans are finally attacking Byzantium. Finally. Ottoman conquest of Athens. Yeah. So they're going after one of the provinces. Um, they haven't gone to Constantinople yet. And they haven't invaded Serbia yet. No, they have. They have invaded Serbia. Okay, so yeah, shit could get real here. The Ottomans can definitely fuck up Serbia and Byzantium. We'll see what happens, I guess. Admin points or prestige. I'll take the admin points. Even though we're ahead by three years. Whatever. Still worth it. When do we get the next idea group? Oh, next level is the next idea group. Well, then we have to decide what idea we want. We took a military idea the first time, idea group. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe naval? I do want to have a good navy. Uh, but we're over on our Diplo. Wow, we are way over on Diplo. 
Is that normal? We're guaranteeing Milan. Royal marriage with Naples. Ah, those two are kind of extraneous, aren't they? We don't really need those right now. But we are annexing two vassals, so I guess it's not the end of the world. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. It's fine. We're allied with Switzerland and France. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going to happen. Keep our alliances strong. I really wish we could get Austria back again. We're at, a plot, we're at positive 145, and we can't get an alliance. I mean, isn't that a little weird? Election. We're going to keep this guy because he's going to be even more amazing. He's already a 225. He's going to be 336. Ah, so good. We have a 336 leader. Yes. Amazingly good leader. So Ferrara will finish next year, next May. Awesome. January is here. Let me see. How many years ahead are we on tech? We are two years ahead. All right, no problem. Two years of points. Milan left the coalition against us. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Uh, only three allies, you say. Baden, Aragon, and Naples. Okay, we'll have to find one of these allies that we can attack. Yeah, I, I would preferably like to go to war when you're not allied with Castile, if you know what I mean. Baden, Aragon, and Naples. Baden, Aragon, and Naples. Well, if I can get Austria on my side, we'll be good to go. Because it's an internal HRE conflict, so he won't get involved. We're not, we're not like an outside force pressuring the HRE. We do need to get a claim or something. Naples will cede Ragusa to Serbia. Yep. <laughs> Ragusan nationalists. So Serbia took took Ragusa from Naples, but now since Serbia is at war with the Ottomans, they're not going to be able to kill these rebels. They're just going to let the rebels win, and Ragusa will spawn. There we go. Goodbye, Ferrara. Now, do I need those three units? Um, I can't really handle all three of them. So, we'll keep the cav. Now, he is building something. He's building a ship. A cog. Do I really need your ships? Galley, galley, galley. I mean, I guess. The ships don't really hurt, right? Cog's not going to go out of date or anything. Get rid of your men at arms, though. We don't need that. All right. One of our dudes is done annexing. Let's, uh... Oh, right. Annex a member of the Holy Roman Empire. Lose 25 relations. And that'll go away in about 15 years. Let's go back to Switzerland. Make sure this guy stays happy with us. There you go. Yeah, now we have a direct border with Venice, meaning we can claim all these wonderful provinces. Oh, I'm going to do just have a party over here. Yeah, who are you allied with? Venice, uh, Baden, Genoa, and Mantua. All right. Oh, Castile's improving relations with us. Oh, look at that. Castile wants to be friends. Yeah, I could see that. I could see an alliance with Castile. Yeah. If we could somehow uh, get you to part ways with Naples, I would love an alliance with Castile. Uh, although, you know, France and the whole conflict thing. I'm not sure if I should bother with Castile. Maybe not. Oh, is it these Dutch? No, Brabant nationalists. I, th I, th I thought they'd be Dutch nationalists. They are Brabant nationalists. Go Brabant, yeah. And uh, he will spread anywhere that has uh, Dutch or Flemish culture. So he could potentially spread to these provinces. They're both Flemish. Uh, but he, he won't come down here. It's Wallonia, yeah. He'll leave the Wallonian provinces alone. Hopefully he'll spawn uh, Brabant. Why not? Because it looks like the King of Burgundy won't die this time. Well, I guess it's a little early to say for sure, but it looks like he won't. Hmm. All right, let's get that new ship over. Ship over. God, my fan is really noisy. 
That's what happens anytime the fucking episode has a long save like that. Oh, what was that? I saw that, but it didn't do anything. What? Oh, man, all the message settings are fucked up now. Did you get your alliance back? He did. So Austria and Castile got their alliance back, but it didn't tell me down here. Ah, fucking message settings. Why does it change? Every time there's a patch, all the message settings get screwed up somehow. This time, not so bad. Like, most of them are still intact, but it's still fucked up some of them. You know? So silly. So what was that? An alliance, right? Interesting. What was it called? Alliance. No? Ah, some of them are not showing up here. There we go. Turn those on. Oh, there's one. Okay, so that's what it was. The text wasn't showing up down here, but it was doing the pop-up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Long as it lets me know somehow. Alright, so we have a few galleys and a few transports. Not bad. And we can invest in a cardinal a little bit. Um, yeah, let's invest in this guy. Why not? And we have a few points left over, but I think we'll just try to steal somebody. Uh, we'll save up a little more points. We'll go for maybe Mr. Young, 42-year-old down here. We could build some buildings, but nope. We're going to use restraint and uh, save up our money to complete that mission. Oh, Burgundy's getting rid of the rebels. Don't do it, Burgundy. Oh, wow, the Brabant nationalists are over here in Zealand. Damn it, don't fuck up Holland. Stick in Burgundy. God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, Brabant nationalists are fucking up Holland. God damn it, just, just deal with Burgundy. Don't go to Holland. God, <laughs> that's so stupid. The rebels just have no idea what they're doing. Scotland collapsed. Yeah, well. Probably because England keeps beating them up in wars. You know. Where is this one ship? And what is it doing? Oh, there's one bark just chilling over here. Taking 20% damage a month. Um, I don't think he's going to make it home. But, well, let's find out. 19% damage a month? Oh, no, he is going to make it. He's taking 0% damage now. He's finally close enough. Okay. Fine, I guess. Bosnia started the Bosnian reconquest of Travunia against Serbia. Yep. Serbia's fucked. Bosnia is now invading. The Ottomans and Bosnia are going to finish off Serbia. And Ragusa is going to form for sure. I don't know where they're going to go. Ah, there they go. The Ragusan nationalists have now spread up to Dalmatia. They will go anywhere that has Croatian as their culture. So they're going to go to Dalmatia, they might go to Lika, they could even come over here to Zagreb and Slavonia. They'll go anywhere that has Croatian culture. Uh, Istria, that's also vulnerable. So let's see what happens to the Ragusan nationalists. Hopefully they'll get a lot of land, that'd be cool. The biggest I've seen Ragusa spawn is three provinces. I thought that was pretty awesome to see. Neck poppy. Neck poppy! So how are we doing here? Still plus 200. Plus 78. Not bad. Foreign plots. Seize them and their wealth. Or lose stability. Oh, fuck me, man. Do I really just have to... Fine. Oh my god. How many times do I have to lose stability this episode? Four times! One episode. Four times. Jesus fucking Christ. Four times. Alright, as soon as January rolls around, we're finally going to be able to spend these fucking points. Finally. Military leader died. Okay. Uh, yeah. I want to keep a leader around. A 1-2. Wow. Woo! 1-2. <laughs> Pretty crap for a leader. Whoa! Austria is hostile. What happened, Austria? Seriously, we were at plus 145 last time I looked. Now we're at 84. Are you kidding me? 
Wow, he has really changed his opinion, like massively. Huh. Okay, well maybe we will go for